and finally not finally because uh, this course inside this course we have many other lecture but inside this class we are going to discuss about text overflow and according to me text overflow or overflow is called the way of hiding the text inside a div inside an element okay open your core editor and there is nothing else so let's just drop a div div not reef and inside this i want a class class of text area and you know you can just name your class just any name and i'm just putting a clip here so let's just write a sentence the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog just an example there is nothing else so you can copy this and paste here so this one i am just going to name this ellipsis ellipsis so you can save go to your web page and refresh so we have two different just not two different same two same sentence here so let's just select the text area class by pressing ctrl c i can select this dot text area open curly braces so the first thing i can just define 200 pixel width and you can just say a margin from the bottom of 20 pixel these all are the things that you have already learned so you can see a border i can just set here a two pixel of solid red border you can save and a refresh so the width is 200 so here you can just say the overflow hidden save and refresh so you can just set the white space we will just take a class on white space so you can you don't need to worry about this i'll just uh, give you a class on this save and a refresh so we don't have any extra or white space you can see here but I'm just going to select the clip and dot clip here you can say the text overflow and set the value clip there will not be any changes a refresh you can see why there is no changes because the value of text overflow the clip is the default value of text overflow value that's why there will not be any changes if you are duplicating this and you are just writing this control c ellipse the class of ellipsis and the value also must be ellipsis save and a refresh now you can see we have there at the end of this sentence dot 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 so this just uh you can see a extra style here we can say i'm just going to increase the width 250 pixel save and refresh so you can see again we have this here it will appear on a time that there is not enough space inside a div or element in a case that there is no enough space let me just uh, decrease the width to 350 save and refresh now you can see we don't have any dot here we have one dot that i have just assigned this here you can see at the end of this this is just because of this so you have understand it will appear when there is not enough space so you can see just like this i'm just saying here uh, 270 pixel save and a refresh so there is not enough space in that case this will appear dot 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 so the value for this is ellipsis we have this inside html also and this cards just uh end sign ellipsis ellipsis save and refresh not this one ah uh, yes help save and refresh so you can see we have three dot here and we have the vertical sign also you can put an end sign ve double l i p you can save 
and a refresh now we have this vertically this one is horizontally this one is vertically so this just for text overflow we have two value clip and ellipsis clip is the default value and ellipsis is the value that will assign three dot at the end of your sentence just like this so i hope you are understand we are not going to waste the time uh, on this video anymore because there is nothing else so i'll see you in the next class have a nice time and see you